Well, we had this hardcore record, Poly One Stew. That was all like a hardcore album. You know? I mean, Ooh. hardcore EP. Seven inch, eight songs. First of all, congratulations on a dynamic show, man. You guys did your thing tonight. Congratulations. Yeah, man, so, so what does it mean? I got to start from the tip, tip, top, man. Anytime I say, hey, I'm going to go support my good people, man, Polywog. Folks always look at me like, what? A Polywog? And I try to explain to them that it's like a kind of like a tadpole type situation. So tell me, man, tell me, what is a Polywog and how did y'all get to be, uh, you know, attached to the name and the entity of Polywog? Well, you hit it on the nail. It's it's definitely the name obviously stemmed originally from a Polywog. I can't even do it here. But um, the Beastie Boys, their first uh, EP, a punk rock EP, was derived. Uh, they made the, they created the name Polywog Stew, a soup, right? And that, that that's where we took the name from, Polywog Crew, though. Okay. So, and now you brought up a very important and intricate part of what Polywog is. You mentioned the Beastie Boys. So. <laughs> Tell us, man, you know, you, I know you guys have been doing the Beastie Boys. Beastie Boys are an iconic group in hip-hop, especially coming out of New York. Out of all the musical entities you can chose to emulate, why the Beastie Boys? Brazil and one of the only white rappers we know of. <laughs> I, I, um, I was always attracted to the music is because the Beastie Boys combined every element. That, because I'm a punk rock, I love punk rock, I love rock, I love hip hop. And the thing about the Beastie Boys is through their catalog, it's very hard to categorize them into one category it's because it's like when they're doing their jazz albums and all the instrumentals. The Beastie Boys always push their own envelope. They didn't give a fuck about where they were going. I say fuck on this program. You, you just did it. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, I just did it. FCC's like, not going to come out. Well, the thing about this was, uh, like I said, it was always a major influence to me because I remember the first time I heard License to Ill, and then I went back into their catalog and just... They're all amazing musicians too. Now, now you guys have actually reached out to the Beastie Boys because hasn't like individuals from their their personal inner circle like uh, Tindy just said? I'll touch on that. Yeah, definitely. Like we've been very fortunate to have a couple people like Money Mark, Aurora Walker, uh, Sunny Box. Which Sunny Box is their photographer for the license to ill, and then Money Mark being right, Money Mark. Yeah, yeah, yeah being work. Yeah. Say Say Adams, which did all their art direction yeah. for a lot of their albums. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But going back to what your original question, uh, which Jay was answering, the reason we actually did get this group together was because MCA passed away, and there's no longer an actual Beastie Boys performing, and there's no going to be more records or anything like that. So we kind of like just as fans of, of the group, we wanted to just kind of keep that going for people that actually just want to see Beastie Boys but don't get the chance to see them. Anymore. We wanted to provide that for them. Uh, aren't you MCA in the performance? Yeah. So yeah, man, that, that's that's a beautiful thing because I remember you. Guys actually did MCA Day. A favor, man. Give me an individual shout out, man. I know you guys are one group, one family, one unit. But from left to right, starting with Jay, tell us a little bit about yourself, Jay. How long you been doing music, and why you do the music? My name is uh, Jay or MCJ. And you know what? I've been always loving music since I was a little kid, and you know my first instruments of choice were bass, guitar, and, and guitar. But I was always into all the different elements. And when Dino and I we had a project in the late 90s, early 2000s. It was a, a hip-hop drive band. 
And then in middle school, I had a really shitty like punk metal band. It was terrible. But I mean, I was always, I always loved the music. And well, the reason it why that terrible, it kept you going, man. Yeah, and the, and I do this honestly is because Dino and I, we were compared so much to their sound a long time ago. And then Jeff is one of my favorite MCs. All this solo stuff's always been dope to me. And so when I wanted to do this and. Because Adam Yock was one of my heroes, and still is. And his passing devastated the three of us, and Lou Man too, and we all four came together as brothers and just did this project in this tribute, and it's been it's been a beautiful thing. It, it has, man. And thanks for getting this project up and running off the ground. All right, brother, give us your, your name, yeah, man. Yeah. And why you do the music? My name is Jeff. Uh, they call me Jeff D and this Polywalk crew. Also go by Spiten. And I'm in a group called Of Limbs with Dino. And uh, I've been doing music. I've been, I mean, I wrote my first rhyme since fifth grade. And I've been doing my individual music since I was, you know, able to get somebody to watch. Uh, Before that was in the bedroom and nobody watched it for years. And uh, I mean, I don't know why I do it. Why do we, I, you know, why do I get up in the morning? You know what I mean? Like, it's just who I am. And uh, I'm lucky to be able to manifest what I feel and uh, create what I want to create. And yeah, man. I'm lo and I, I feel blessed to be able to do the Polywalk crew with these three other dudes. Because uh, I mean, the first rap song I forced, I forced myself to memorize Paul Revere. My best friend knew the song, and I was not going to let him top me. And I was upset y'all didn't do that tonight, but it's okay. It's all right. We'll get you next time. Okay. Do you know that? Do you know that's, dude, that's on Dino. Okay. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's just in me. This is what I do. Yeah, it's in your DNA, man. And we appreciate it and we love you for it. All right, brother Dino, my man. Hey, what's going on? Thanks for coming out. You already know. So tell us, man. Tell us what we got, man. So tell us what my name is Dino, is. and the group I go by D Rock. Uh, I play the character of uh, Ad Rock. And uh, why I do music? Well, I've been doing music since the '90s, and uh, ever since I haven't looked back. Um, it's more like a curse, and it's broken a lot of personal relationships and j fucked up jobs because of it. But at the end of the day, uh, I, I live, die, and breathe music, and you know, love me for it, hate me for it. It's, it's, it's gonna, it's gonna, that's me. That's my DNA. That's right, man. And and he survived the full five, five closure. You know what I'm saying, you baby? Know, now you know. You remember when folks had shut that thing down? It was actually going on the full five, uh, eating dinner yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Right, baby, right, y'all. Right, 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 yeah. right. <laughs> Hey, all right. day. That's so right. tell us, brother, man. Go ahead. Excellent job DJing tonight, man, and running the wheels of steel, man. We appreciate that. My so name is DJ Lou Man. That's Lou Man, L-U-M-A-N. I represent Faction, Foundation Park Collective, first and foremost, Polywalk 2. Born in 82, man. I was born in the music. Yeah, I've been DJing since 97, all vinyl. Residency of B-Swap, me, Waxwork. I hooked up with these brothers because I definitely believed in the movement they were pulling. When I sat down in my first rehearsal with them, I heard their, their lyrical styles and I was spinning, I do what I do on my DJ. But when I heard them, I said yes because right. they really put in work, man. The way they, they emulate the styles and come through with the Beastie Boys lyrical tactics, the, the back and forth styles. I said yeah, but that's because I come from a, I love Paul Boutique. All the samples from there, I definitely got on wax. I, I went out and did my homework. You know, 97, 2000, and 2014, now we're here. So. Well, cool, man. And brother, I saw you out running around with the head, man. He's a homie right here. Yeah, yeah man. From Black Tech Society. Yeah, we all, we all family, man. Awesome. All family. Yeah. Awesome. So, fellas, real quick, man. I know you guys love Beastie Boys, but any other musical influences that just touched your, your heart and your soul when you was coming up and doing this thing? Yeah. The Misfits, Prince, Outkast, Elvis, yeah. Johnny Cash, The Addicts. The Minor Threat, Fugazi, Nice, Bad Brains. The first, the first, uh, uh, I guess, uh, album that uh, that I fell in love with was Thriller. 
MJ. Yeah. That's Thriller. I was I was sold. Uh, man. Uh, Why you gotta say that first, man? <laughs> that's a win. That's I mean, a win. I mean, that's like, a win. Oh, and, down. and I, 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 I met I met Tito in the elevator no, of the Hilton. Oh, Tito. He met Tito Jackson. Uh oh, here come the this TMZ is, this moment. Is back in, this is back in '89. I met Tito in the elevator of the Hilton. Uh, you just met a guy with the Jerry. No man. <laughs> it was Tito. It was cool. He's like, hey, what's up, little man? I was like, oh yeah, man. Well, that's cool, it was man. Good story. Well, hey, I appreciate that, man. Real quick, as we close out, you got Twitter handles, Facebook, social yeah. media. How can we hear Polywog and keep supporting y'all, man? Polywogcrew.com, P O L L Y W O G Crew.com, Facebook, so uh, forward, Facebook.com forward slash Polywog Crew. Uh, and at, that's with a crew or with a C, right? Yeah, with a C. Okay. Um, and then with Twitter and Instagram at Polywog Crew. Okay. Excellent, man. Well, hey, that's what's up, man. What's next? What's the next show? What, what you got coming up on the horizon, man? Well, uh, I think we're going to be doing something uh, maybe in February with these guys at Black Tone back here at the House okay. of Blues. You never know what'll pop up, too. Yeah, we might be doing some bar mitzvahs. That's what's um, up, man. Weddings. Yeah. Weddings. Awesome. And don't forget Conscious Level, man. Aren't you guys supposed to do something in the works with them, too? Yeah. Yeah, those guys at Conscious Level are pretty dope. Awesome, man. Yeah. Well, hey, real quick, man. Last question of the night. What does Conscious Hip Hop mean to you? Conscious, you know, the best thing was earlier when we were sitting there and I was listening to, right before Black Tongue came on, when, you know, the Tribe Called Quest, Can I Kick It came on, I was just like, oh yeah, because as soon as Fife and God, bitch, I don't know, that, can I, can I, of course you can't, but the Conscious Hip Hop to me is totally, di you know, because I like, I like the hardcore hip hop and then I love the the feel good hip hop too, Tribe Call Quest, all the Zulu Nation, stuff like that, De La, all the good stuff. But I mean that that to me is my conscious. Go ahead, Lou, please. I say for conscious hip hop as far as me the early nineties going up to Rock Band, Diggable Planets, Public Enemy, anything that was kinda Islam related, you know what I'm saying? Like as far as consciousness and to knowing yourself, you know what I mean? Paris, you know, Diggable Planets, ISIS. You know, all those all those groups that were definitely the core of hip hop from the early nineties, late eighties rock came that that spits you what you wanted to be, what you in yourself, you know what I'm saying? And to keep persevering, that's my thing. Also I was I don't know also look up to hip hop artists, I looked up to like Michael Jordan, Pre Fontaine, definitely Mike Tyson, you know, Muhammad Ali, people that would definitely spin conscious in whatever they would spin, believing them in themselves, which was against the normal, which is what we're fighting now, you know what I'm saying? It's like against the normal to us, we're definitely not your average society people, we're different, you know? And we're like that like that but it's upon us to carry a conscious in ourselves to who we know and carry that positive vibe to let people know the visual like yo when we go on you know it's gonna be something positive it's gonna be a good time party time know yourself feel the vibe it ain't all some negative yeah. like each one teach, each one. one teach one man there's so many artists yeah. I wish I could name off the top of my dome like I mean a anything that had to do with conscious like Fushnikins I mean Tribe Called Quest Anything to me, a lot of East Coast stuff definitely influenced me. Like, I think that, souls of mischief. Souls of I mischief. I feel like yeah. for me, it's just whoever's saying it needs to just believe yeah, it, and, and and not just saying some stuff just to say it. Like I don't care if it's positive or negative for me personally, as long as that's what that person's about, and they're not pretending to be something they're not. True. That's that for me. That's just conscious yeah, that's, that's as hip hop ever needs to be. Word. <laughs> That's a lot, cause I got my share.